which Molly's isn't. At the moment, she's not too happy with me for selling the house she grew up in out from under her, or for sending her those boxes, which contain most of her childhood. So we haven't spoken, but our machines have. Molly, it's your mother. By the way, dear, there's no message on your machine. You ought to fix that. What if the publishing people call? Such a fabulous job opportunity. Arthur told me all about it. The chance of a lifetime. Can't wait to celebrate. See you tonight. I suppose selling the house without telling her wasn't the kind of surprise she wanted sprung on her at this particular point in time. Which is ironic, because as a child, Molly loved surprises. Still does. In fact, when I ask her what she wants for her birthday, she always says, surprise me. Surprise! Be careful what you wish for. Dodd, sponsored by Loving Care. It's time to decide, gray hair or loving care. Why keep plucking? Did you know there's a hair coloring as gentle to the hair as a shampoo? It's Loving Care. Loving Care covers your gray, a beautiful match to your natural color. No peroxide, no roots. It's as gentle to the hair as a shampoo. Nature is forcing you to make a decision. Make it. Gray hair or loving care. Grapes. For nibbling with someone you love. For lazy Sunday mornings. For eating one by one by one. Grapes. Ooh. My headache feels like a freight train is rumbling through my brain. But I took two Excedrin. They'll work. My headache's gone. To Excedrin, and it's gone. When only extra strength headache relief will do, take Excedrin, the headache medicine. Lucy kisses like no one can. She's my missus, and I'm her man. And life is heaven, you see. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Merry Christmas, you great, big, wonderful, adorable, lovable husband, you. After 33 years, I Love Lucy's Christmas special brings back the memories. Relive the magic on the next This Evening. Tonight at midnight, 11 Central. What would you say if you knew your favorite show was coming to Lifetime? Yabba-dabba-doo! Moonlighting is back and only on Lifetime starting February 5th. Lifetime. It's me. I know. Cousin Mike from Baltimore. From Baltimore. Right. And this is my wife, the legendary Bonnie. Bonnie, say hello to Molly. <laughs> hello, Cousin Molly. Hi. I told you the two you would finally meet, didn't I? You did, hon. You said it'd be monotonous. <laughs> no. I said momentous. <laughs> and so it is. I see you got suitcases. That would indicate to me... What? You didn't get my message? <sighs> my answering machine's been on the blink. <gasps> I thought it sounded garbled. Well, why don't you come in? Thanks, Mom! Oh, 
Oh, Come on, sugar dog. This is so daggone kind of oh, you. Oh, there's nobody kinder, especially when it comes to kith and kin. <laughs> what is kith, anyway? Wow, you moving out or something? Uh, well, that depends. Kith is friends and acquaintances. Mm-hmm, no kidding. <laughs> it's a word frequently heard in the hollers, along with possum and black lung disease. Bonnie Hale's from West Virginia. My daddy was a minor. Speaking of which, I was so sorry to miss your daddy's funeral. Well, I was so sorry to miss yours. Much obliged. But my daddy's still alive. Ah, uh, well... Good. I knew you two would hit it off. So, where do you want us to hang our stuff? You're planning on hanging stuff? Wait, now... You didn't get the postcard I sent you? Nope. Oh, uh, somebody ought to write a letter to the post office department. But you know what? They'd never get it either. Bingo. <laughs> Is she fast or what? <laughs> She's a wicked. Uh, now, so listen, you're in town on... Business, yeah. Mm. It looks like everything's just about to come up roses. Hey, how about on top of these boxes? Huh? Fine. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here and... Oh! Hmm? How's your mom getting along, by the way? Aunt Flo's way too young to be a widow. She's coping. Oh, life goes on. Ooh, bloody. I can't imagine her all alone out on that big house out in Long Island. Well, neither can she. You remember when Aunt Mim lost Uncle Chuck? Aunt Mim just rattled around that renovated Victorian like an ice cube in a highball glass. You remember Aunt Mim's house with the bay window overlooking the old Sosa Security building over by the Beltway? Not too clearly, no. But see, then I've never been able to get any single aspect of our family relationship straight, so why should I remember houses? Oh, boy, you sure are picking uh, when it comes to that. We're second cousins on your mother's side. Even I understand that. Of course, where I come from, everyone's related. Which isn't necessarily a good thing. Oh, tell me about it. Half of Bonnie's cousins got three thumbs. <laughs> I guess I was lucky. <laughs> oh, I guess I better rustle us up some grub. It's the least I can do. Here. Ah, uh... You remember when I was assistant chef at the old Pimlico Hotel? No. Do you have a restroom? Yes, we do. And it's indoors. It's right around that corner. Oh, thanks, Cousin Molly. So, you two have patched things up? Oh, I can't stay mad at Bonnie. You got any kidneys, too? Fresh out. Bacon? The, uh, smoked meat section. Oh! But things were pretty bad between you two. Not anymore. We're as happy as Chincoteague oysters. This, uh, business you're in town for? Actually, they're paying me to drive a car from the Bronx to Florida. And since Bonnie's never seen the Big Apple, I figured we'd mix a little business with pleasure. Anna, when will you be leaving for Florida? As soon as I get my license back. Which is where now? Temporarily revoked. I see. Cousin Molly, listen to this. Te amo. I love you. I find that beautiful. Uh, I'm learning Italian. I'm trying to. It's a uh, New Year's resolution. Dove il gabinetto? Where is the bathroom? Even that sounds romantic. Just, uh, excuse me. Uh... Hello. Hi, Fred. Is that Cousin Fred? Ex-Cousin Fred, yes. Say hello from both of us. I will. Ex-Cousin Mike and Bonnie say... From Baltimore, yes. Aunt Mim's nephew, that's right. Ah, well, I don't know. This might not be the perfect day. I'm kind of tied up. Hey, you know, maybe this is the perfect day. Uh, just give me about ten minutes. Make it five. Bye. Oh, uh, hey, listen, you two. Uh, I'm going out for a little while. Just, uh, now don't be shy. Make yourselves at home. 
The Atlantic Monthly is on the coffee table. Just help yourselves to the Sambuca. Thanks. For everything. This isn't half bad. Well, yeah, it's only a billion dollars a month. The times, they are changing. Thanks for coming by. Sounds good. We're about to be cooking. Side men are getting better looking. Oh, that's uh, Randy Lewis. Uh, she used to be with Paul Simon. Who wasn't? <laughs> She's a good kid. You'll like her. Randy Lewis. Molly Dodd. Mm -hmm. Dodd Lewis. Hi. Hi. I've heard a lot about you. Good stuff? Yeah, nothing but the best. You seem like a tough act to follow. Well, whatever. Are you still singing? Uh, only in the direst of emergencies. That's too bad. I heard your tapes. You were fine. Oh, thanks. Uh, Fred, could you do me a favor? Would you not talk about the old days with the new guys? Why not? I always speak well of you, the highest of respect. And well, just don't dwell on the past. Well, the past is the future, and the future, Molly, is about to happen. Well, good, because I'm getting impatient for it to get here. There is a lot of excitement about this band. A lot of buzzing in the beehive. A&R guys are coming around. Labels are interested. The record deal may be in the works. Well, it couldn't happen to a nicer bee. So I've been thinking a lot about the past. About you and the old band, because... We scuffled and we just never quite came together and we're on the brink here and I want you to share in it somehow. So I put my name on the back of the album. No, I owe you. You think I don't mean that, but I do. I'll think of something. How about a lifetime backstage pass? It ain't gonna mean much if we ain't got a name for the group. Didn't we settle on the Fred Dodd Band? No. Oh. Everybody's a critic. You know, I, I kind of like the Randy Lewis quintet myself. Uh, why don't we call us Egomania? <laughs> I remember these discussions. You'll end up calling yourself something like the New York subway system. I like it. It's not bad. Best ever, yeah. So you always be part of this, Molly. Right. <laughs> are stampeding through my head. <sighs> but I took two Excedrin. That'll work.
My headache's gone. To Excedrin and it's gone. When only extra strength headache relief will do, take Excedrin, the headache medicine. The Shower Massage by Teledyne Water Pain. When I was a young girl, the studio made me a blonde. My boyfriend at the time said, I like you the way you were. And yet, he married two blondes. <laughs> I love being the spokesperson for Altress. One of the nice things about Altress is it has double conditioner. Makes your hair softer. Do you really want to know how I feel about Altress? I love it. I do. Get ready for a superstar duet. Lifetime's got Kelly Rogers and Dolly Parton. We got everything we need. We got real love. Together in concert in a megawatt performance. Before the lights and behind the scenes. Pilots in the street. That is why. Kenny and Dolly, real good, real love. Premiering Wednesday, January 3rd at 9 p.m. 8 Central, here on Lifetime. Do you like it? You don't have anywhere to hang it. My new apartment has many walls. That's right, I forgot you moved. Forgive me. Maybe Arthur would like this. He's redecorating his office. Hmm, an ugly painting by an unknown artist. Well, no wonder it's $10,000. Okay, I'm starving. Arthur will be along any second. Are we going to eat right here in the gallery? They don't serve food here, they sell art. Well, then why don't we go on ahead to the restaurant? He wanted to meet us here. Fine, I, that's my idea of a good time, buying overpriced art before dinner. If you're going to do the attitude thing, let's just skip the entire evening. Okay, by me. I can crack open a can of tuna and be as happy as a clam. Florence. Oh. You look wonderful. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Mr. Feldman. Arthur. I don't think so. Great. That makes me very happy. And I'll call you Molly. I see you've been admiring a Rosenshine. I thought it might be wonderful for your office. I'm thinking of purchasing it for my office. Ah, well, you go right ahead. You like the sweep of the curves? Yes, that's the main thing I like about it. I'm thinking of purchasing it for my office. She knows that, dear. Oh, good. In that case, I'll write a check. I'll be right back. And then dinner. Thank you. Thank you both. You're very much alike, the two of you. Purchasing it for his office, is he? He thinks everyone else is hard of hearing. So, you'll deign to join us? Yes. If you two will just stop slobbering all over each other. Now we'll try. How is the unpacking going? Badly. You needed the extra space, I guess. Molly, you just woke up one morning with an overwhelming desire to discard the past. You needed empty rooms, white walls, in order to hang stupid abstract expressionist paintings on. The house is sold. I know that. I should have asked you. Damn straight. No, I should have told you. I didn't need to ask you. It was my house. I raised my children in it. I lived there with my husband. I mourned him in that house. I had a perfect right to sell it. Well, it wasn't that much of a house anyway. It was a fine house. It was just a bunch of walls. It was a Courier and Ives painting. It was an albatross. Molly, it was something that had to be done. I did it on my own. With nobody's help or advice or consent. It was a choice I made. Sorry. Well, you can ask for my consent right now. Now? Well, retroactively. Molly, I want to sell the family house and make a fresh start living in New York. Is that okay with you? Well, sure. All you had to do was ask. Thank you. A success. 
Mr. Rosenschein can send his firstborn to college or to therapy. <laughs> Let's go to dinner. Oh, Mr. Feldman. Arthur. Uh, I'd like to thank you for arranging that interview with Sarah Reddick. Oh, Sarah Reddick. Did you have that interview yet? I had the interview, and she offered me a job. <laughs> no need to scream. Did you get the job? <laughs> Come on, let's celebrate, ladies. <sighs> Hello? Um, hi, Cousin Molly. I, we didn't think you'd be home so early. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's not so early. It's past midnight. Uh, could I just turn on... Not just now, hon. Uh, some of us are in flagranto. Right. You know, uh, I forgot something down at the store. I'm gonna run down there, and then I'll be back here in about a half an hour. Could you make it an hour? No problem, cuz. If you see any pancake mix, we're fresh out. <laughs> what have we here? Oh, ah, uh, Davy, sorry. Lock yourself out again? No, I was just kind of loitering. In fact, that's exactly what I was doing, loitering. I've never really loitered before. Well, can't let you do that, Miss Dodd. City ordinance. Do you think I want to loiter? Oh, I get it. The lovebirds. Yeah, you seen them? Who are they, anyway? I have no idea. Come with me, Miss Dodd. David, could this wait about 15 minutes? Nope, we gotta do this right now. Good for what is, you? I never even knew this existed. Well, most buildings have roofs. Well, I know that, but not this kind. Not on a night like this. Been here all the time. Is this yours? In a manner of speaking. I feed them, but they ain't really mine. Well, they come back. Well, it's a home in Pigeon. Couldn't call them that if they didn't come back. Call them boomerangs. <laughs> so, uh, Miss Dodd, about that publishing job. Yes, David. You officially on duty yet? Soon. The uh, reason I'm asking is, I've dabbled a little in the literary line. Oh, you've dabbled in quite a few lines. Yeah, but I've always gone back to the quill. Oh, did you see that? What? Oh, is it a shooting star? Or a suicide. Uh, anyway, this tome of mine is kind of a historical novel. A panorama of the greatest city in the world. A bonfire of the vanities. Yeah, only thicker and more gripping and exciting. Better written. If you do say so yourself. Yeah. Maybe someday you'll let me read it. I was hoping you'd ask. It would be my pleasure. Actually, my obligation to society. Oh, boy, what a moon. A New York moon. It's there, but it looks like it's always about to get mugged. Beaming down on the Hudson. It makes you feel kind of wonderfully insignificant. Yet hopeful. Indeed. Because there is a master plan, you know, Miss Dodd. If you say so. I can't figure it out. Uh, times like this, what's the difference? Mm. It's amazing. You know, right smack dab in the middle of town, I found a paradise that's trouble-proof. Room enough for two, up on the roof. Is it me, or do you hear music? I hear the music of the night. No. The music of an ensemble. Those guys. Yeah, they're here on Thursdays. Yeah, next week we've got cooking demonstrations, tennis clinics, the circus, weather permitting. This is all very mysterious. Well, I think I gotta go buy some pancake mix. Well, I'm gonna wait for Walter. Pigeon. Maybe I will too. 
Ain't this something? Having this kind of night for free? Yeah. And all this time, I thought it belonged to Niccolo. <laughs> That's it for the news. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Cold winds out of the north northwest today. <laughs> Boy, is it going to be a hot, sticky one out there today? <laughs> at last, a weatherproof formula that holds longer and stronger than the other leading pumps. Honey, don't forget your boots. <laughs> Exclusively ours, new Final Net Ultimate Hold, the weatherproof hold that lets you laugh at the weather. <laughs> Premium champagne. Grapes for nibbling with someone you love. For lazy Sunday mornings. For eating one by one by one. Grapes. Later tonight at 11, 10 Central, when Robert Urich is set up to box with a killer, will murder be the main event on Spencer for Hire? Then at midnight, 11 Central, get all the news you can't get on the news as Nancy Glass hosts this evening. Coming up, Molly Dodd is stringing popcorn for her Christmas tree. Now, isn't that funny? She popped a whole jar full, but she only had enough for one strand. Hmm. Blair Brown stars in another episode of The Days and Nights of Molly Dodd. Next, happy holidays from all of us here at Lifetime. <laughs>